Yeah, man, we in D.C. Shit, might see the Capitol from over here. I'm smoking a little bit purple on these shit, you hear me? A little bit of this, a little bit of that, man. Out here with them snipers, man. We in here with them D.C. boys, man, you hear me? Shout out to High University, man. You know they going through a lot right now. Put them in y'all prayers, man. You know what I'm saying? Taco Talks, man. Y'all interview, man. Y'all interview my boy, man. Get him right, man, you hear me? He ain't not only covering rappers, he covering this real shit that's really going on around this bitch, you hear me? So if you stand for anything, tune in, you hear me? Taco Talks, man, the topic, man. Rock out. This nigga Taco Tuesday sneaking, yeah, man. sneaking the interview. It's Lil' 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 College too, like having fun, like doing little random stuff. Little ones gonna do like a tournament or something. But we hear about y'all situation that y'all had going on, so we want to help. Who else gonna bring food to them? But they see y'all already had food. So we can supply with them some food. We can tell. Don't donate. Donate. So what we're gonna do, and if it's you guys, we wanna coordinate the schedule for food trucks to consistently show up for the week, so we can be sustainable. Does that work? Yeah, we yeah, got a we we got a celebration. We on whatever y'all on for the most part. You know what I'm saying? I know what the fuck y'all going through. You know what I'm saying? Like, excuse me, y'all, but you know the anger really. You know what I'm saying? I really come from this environment, so it's really shaking me, and I ain't just trying to put it on. I really, you know what I'm saying? Like I really feel y'all. I ain't never seen nothing like this in going on right school. I ain't even graduated to get to college. I try to take the tech right here. See y'all come this far to get y'all education and got y'all doing this. You know, that ain't right. That's fun. No justice, no peak. We ain't just fun out here. You hear me? We really live in this, you hear me? Yeah. That's right. I heard those songs. My name is Gideon Prempe. I'm a freshman. I'm an English major. Um, so I've just been protesting out here. This is my third day now. Uh, I go in and out for classes only, basically. But um, yeah, I've just been out here. There's been a lot of issues at Howard. It's making me, I hate the lack of transparency between the administration. Um, part of the reason I chose the school was I thought I wouldn't have to deal with stuff like this anymore. I went to like a, a very predominantly white school and they didn't really care about me like that. So Howard was a good choice for me, I thought. And this is like giving me the same type of memories. So, it kind of just brought back the same type of feelings of I need to be part of some type of change or whatever it is. I saw what they were doing at Blackburn and I'm sad because I wasn't ready at first. I wanted to be inside low key, but I wasn't ready at first. So I just came outside and these people are great. It's actually a very nice community here. And just all the problems, especially with dorming, um, because I know just some, like a lot of people just in general going through homelessness and things like that. And Howard, I know Howard just doesn't help. Me personally, just dealing with Howard on like other stuff, just like financially things like that. Never, they never helped me out, and that was like for as since I got accepted in December, I've been calling them up and things like that. They never helped me, so this is what it comes to. Um, the dorming is crazy. When I first moved in here, me and my roommate was mad confused. We turned on the AC and we're like dying every time we wake up. And that shit, I thought I had COVID for a second. That's how bad it was, because every time you turn it on the AC, you blowing mold in the room and shit like that. The second you turn it off, you go to sleep, you'll be better. So we still don't even sleep with it on at night. Like, you just have to fix it like that, because sometimes I'll still wake up sick like that. Um, Fleas in the bathrooms, like that. Like they don't, they make it look like they clean. They have the people stationed around, and honestly, that's their job. Like they, they're doing what they do. But Howard doesn't care what they do or how they do it. So all of all of this is just, it just really gets to me on that deeper level. It just it reminds me a lot of even just last year, just protesting and things like that. That's what really got me into this type of lifestyle in, in the first place. Yeah, Howard University. 
They really wanted us to come in. We was on tour. They wanted us to come here and do a three-on-three turn. But we we heard about how they was living, how they doing their students. They got mold in their dorm. And these people standing, these people paying to live. It don't make sense. So instead, we come out here to support. And I'm going to donate to these people. We're going to help them. It don't even make sense. I went, I dropped that 10th grade, these people went on with their education trying to be something really in life and this, this one of the number one schools I always hear about when I was younger, Howard. Y'all would, if I was going to go to college, it was going to be Howard. I ain't had no idea this was going on, it's crazy. It's weird. I thought it was going to be a nice, like, I thought it was going to be something. I ain't know this. happens a lot of It happens on a lot of campuses, but you don't hear about it because they keep it on the hut. So that's why y'all platforms are so important. Houston, an administration was invited, but they declined. Town halls are the only way that students have the ability to get their grievances off their chest. That's the only line of communication that we have in which we are seeing administration face to face. And they continue to decline the invitation. So we decided then and there that we would refuse to leave the building until these grievances that we discussed were met. Woo! That's right. So that's how we got the demands that we have today. And we will not be leaving Blackburn until the demands are met. That's right. Okay? Yeah. So, I want to make sure that this is known. If no demands are met, there will be no homecoming. Homecoming will be outside of Blackburn. We need that to go literally national. We need alumni, we need faculty, we need people who would usually go to um, Howard's homecoming. We're going to shut it down because I believe that the community is willing to sacrifice this virtual homecoming to make sure that the voices of the students are heard. So we are going to cultivate and anybody who's watching this Please reach out to us so we can have our own Blackburn Takeover Homecoming. That's our part. That's the newscast, y'all. We've been coming and going and looking at us from an aerial view. But we want to have a Blackburn Takeover Homecoming that's separate from Howard's Homecoming because they do not have the luxury to be on the yard doing something, cultivating something, and ignoring us, actively ignoring us. The first night, the first night we had 15 to 25 people. There was a fake fire alarm that was pulled that was trying to force people out. We had footage of people that were trying to be forcibly removed by university police and Metro PD. They tried to threaten us with expulsion consistently. And as a group, we make a decision. It doesn't matter the sacrifice we are willing to fight. We are willing to sacrifice until our demands are met. So those are the people that decided to stay within Blackburn. So please, please, please clap it up so they can hear you in there because they are continuously sacrificing. And then the next day, the VP of Student Affairs came and said, we, you guys have until 12 o'clock or the people inside will be expelled. So, we made an all call for Bison to be outside of Blackburn by 11.50. By 11.50, over 100 Bison students linked their arms together and made a huge shield outside of Blackburn and refused for administration to get in and serve them with expulsion. Because Bison are going to protect Bison. The community is going to protect the community. When the institution and the students are clashing, we need the community to back the students. We need the community to back the students. And that's what Bison did that day. So we're continuing to lock down the inside. And we have the students that have been sleeping outside consistently, protecting the space and holding it down. We need more people coming and sleeping outside. We need more bodies that are willing to sacrifice. We have been flooded with community resources and mattresses, sleeping bags. You're not sleeping on concrete. We promise you we're going to have resources, but we of course need more. So that is a hall call. We need mattresses, sleeping bags, blankets, 
tarps. Oh, tarps. Tarps. tarps and tents. We need tarps and tents to make sure that these students don't get rained on. Rain, snow, sleet, or hail. Our demands will be met by any means necessary. Understood?